welcome to Healthy Cooking for Food Lovers. My name is Marie-France Garon. We are making today Ratatouille. So we're going to travel to France, especially in uh, Nice. That's where they specialize in the Ratatouille. But this is something here in Quebec because being from France, of course. So we, or we make Ratatouille at this time of the year especially because we use our fresh produce from our own garden. So we have one beautiful aubergine. We have three zucchini, it's interesting, they're all different size. That's what was in the garden today, one very big one. And so we have three zucchini here. We have some peppers, some yellow peppers, red peppers, and we have four onion. And then we have some beautiful tomato. They are big this year and they are so delicious, so delicious. So we're going to start with the aubergine because there's a bit of a, a special preparation with that. So we start with the aubergine and then after that we'll start chopping everything and putting everything together. So what we need to do with the aubergine is to, we'll cut it in uh, little cubes. Now everything will be chopped about to the same size. I like to keep the skin because it keeps uh, the pieces uh, together rather than being too mushy when it cooks. And uh, But the first, first one, I'll just take it off uh, a little bit of the skin. And then I will just cut like this. And so what we need to do for the aubergine is whatever recipe you make with the aubergine, it's interesting to find out that it's always just like a little bit bitter and there's quite a lot of moisture in them. So what we like to do is to salt them, to degorge, to take uh, some of the moisture out and it takes the bitterness out as well. So I'm just gonna start cutting some cubes and then we're gonna salt them. So all our aubergine here is chopped and we're going to put some salt, quite a lot of salt here to uh, take some of the moisture out. Just shake it up a little bit and we let it sit like this for about 20 minutes while we prepare our other vegetable. Now we're going to chop everything and but for the tomato when you have uh, when you want to uh, use tomato of course we want to take the peel off and the way that we take the peel of the tomato off you need one pot of boiling water and one pot of iced water when the water is boiling you put your tomato maybe two at a time put it in the boiling water one minute take it out Put it in the cold water immediately and you will see the skin will just come off. You just go with your hand, the skin come off and then you can use your tomato like that. So here they are. We've prepared a big uh, bowl of uh, tomato here, took the skin off and chopped them in little pieces. We let some of the juice aside and it makes a beautiful tomato juice you don't throw that out you just keep it uh, so but here we have some tomato ready to go in the ratatouille all right we're ready to put everything together for our ratatouille at the aubergine have been degorging for about 20 minutes and i just want to show you what happened now i just send them in this cloth i will show you what's going to come out but first let me show you that already some of the moisture has come out of the aubergine and there's quite a little bit more to come out i would say it's dripping as you can see so you see it's all coming out now so we're just going to squeeze a little bit. We don't want to break them off, but so just squeezing a little bit. Hey, look at this. <laughs> it's quite important because our ratatouille has got the uh, tomato and all the other uh, vegetable. And see how much is coming out now. I'm squeezing, but I just don't want to break them off. 
So that's an important step. Whenever you use aubergine, you want to do that process. We can keep here squeezing all day. It's still going to come out, I think. <laughs> so, uh, we're, and look how much is in that. And so with the salt, I mean, it takes some of the salt away. So it's perfect because it's just going to be salty enough. Just perfect. Okay, so I think that that's enough squeezing. So we're going to cook the aubergine first separately just because again because of the water content so we want to just cook them properly and then we'll start with the rest after so olive oil um a good three tablespoon of olive oil here in our pan all right our oil is ready for the aubergine we're gonna yes that's the sound that we want just perfect not too hot So what I like to do is to cook our garlic with the aubergine because it's gonna give it a really nice taste. So we have uh, four cloves of garlic here that we're just gonna roughly chop. Just like this, send it in. So it's important the aubergine are really cooked properly. So we're gonna let that cook for about five to 10 minutes and then we'll get back. So we let our aubergine cook a little bit longer over there and now we're gonna start with all our other ingredients. We have our onion here, we're gonna send it. I've got some olive oil already, about two, three tablespoons of olive oil. So we send the onion here and we're just gonna cook our onion a little bit first. Next, we're gonna add our peppers, yellow peppers and red pepper. But today, we can put green peppers as well, depending what you have. We're gonna add our zucchini to the pot now. It's time for salt and pepper. Now, remember our aubergine, they're salty already a little bit so we're going to put the salt now to the other vegetable here and the pepper lots of nice fresh pepper i'm using our special pepper from madagascar but of course you can use your normal pepper <laughs> it's all happening it's all happening yes okay now we're ready to add our aubergine to the pot Voila. And now what I'm going to do is just uh, make ways to reach the bottom here and then add our tomato paste. I want it to deglaze a little bit so I want to send that to the bottom. Just one tablespoon of tomato paste here. So I walk that in the bottom of my pot here to mix with the, the little juice at the bottom. And on top of that, I will add half a cup of red wine. The red wine, it's always important to cook it well to evaporate the alcohol from it. So we're gonna just make sure that it starts to simmer with the wine here. In the normal recipe for ratatouille, we have like one tablespoon of sugar, and but my sugar is called stevia. It's from the plant stevia. It's got zero calorie, and that's the one I use all the time. So we're gonna have one tablespoon of uh, stevia here. We're gonna add some lovely thyme 
from our garden and I'm leaving all the stems because we can fish them out like that but I have like a, a nice bunch and it's gonna mix here in the pot and uh, it's gonna simmer all together but now our ratatouille is just nearly ready <laughs> it just has to simmer for about 20 minutes so what I'm gonna do now is we've prepared those tomatoes from our fresh tomato, take the peel off, we chop them, we took some of the juice out, but I'm gonna just, just put it through the strainer here. So we're gonna just take some juice out of the tomato and just send it in. All right. This is gonna simmer for 20 minutes and it will be ready. But at this point, I don't, we need to stir a little bit, but we don't wanna break off all our beautiful vegetable. So we're gonna just stir with the other side of the spoon a little bit like that, just a couple of times. We'll put down our heat a little bit and let it simmer like this for 20 minutes. Let's have a look at the ratatouille. Yes. Mm. It looks good. Perfect. So 20 minutes because we don't want mush vegetable. We don't we want like a nice uh, stew. And it's beautiful. I can see some of the thyme here, so I fish that out. Hello. Ratatouille, this is so delicious. I've tried already. I've got a little bit here. It is all the vegetable. You can really taste them. Here's an onion and here's a, a courgette or a zucchini and they're still holding. So that's perfect. That's the perfect timing for that. It looks perfect and I'm tasting. Mm. Oh, I think because our tomato, they are so nice this year. They're sweet and delicious. And so this is really, really sweet. It's lovely. We can just serve that with some, some meat or with some rice or a little bit of grated uh, parmesan if you want on top. That's delicious as well. With some chicken, with some fish. It just goes with anything and it's beautiful, already made. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna save some for later. <laughs> so we're, I'm gonna put them in the jar and we're gonna can those and have them later during the winter. So I have only three jars here because we're gonna have we're gonna make some more later because there's more vegetable in the garden so we're gonna make some more but right now I think that we're gonna make some three jars and then we'll have some left so we use this nice funnel that fits on the pot and we're gonna add ratatouille here in the pot And we have just enough left for us for this evening. What we want to do is make sure that the jars are really clean on top because it has to seal. So we choose the method. Uh, some people do that in the oven. We do it on the stove in a uh, boiling water. So we're going to add tops here. And then what you do is you don't make it really tight uh, immediately. Just after it's uh, boiled, we're gonna tighten the, the tops. So we put our uh, canning top like this. And I have my pot over there of boiling water. It's not quite boiling just yet, but we can just already send it in the pot. So what you need to do is we need to send that in the bottom of our pot 
very important to have some type of racks at the bottom because this is going to be on the heat and we don't want to crack our glass jars so we're going to send that in the bottom of our pot here and already the water is nearly boiling so i'm putting that inside and i'm putting our pots here on top just like this so to can those pot we're gonna let it simmer for about 40 minutes and we need the water to come up to the lid just about or um, it can come on top of the lid it's okay but as long as the glass jar is all in the water but we have to calculate from the moment that the water is really uh, starting to boil again and then we'll put the fire down and let it simmer slowly 40 minutes and voila this is our ratatouille for our dinner for tonight and we're gonna have this with some grilled chicken very simple and delicious so this is just gonna be lovely dinner so if you like this recipe, you can write some comments below and please subscribe to my channel. Bon appétit!